In this episode of the Outdoor Enablement Show, we're going to be talking about Python. Specifically, we'll be talking about all of the incredible resources available from Microsoft to help you understand why Python is important to Azure and how you can leverage this technology to build intelligent apps on Azure. Check it out. Welcome back to the Azure Enablement Show. I'm Aaron, and today we'll be exploring Python skilling to enhance your Azure developer journey whether you're an app developer or a data scientist. Joining us today is Renee Noble, a cloud advocate at Microsoft. She's going to help guide us through some of the skilling resources Microsoft has to offer for Python. Welcome, Renee. Thanks, Aaron. So great to be here. Super excited to have you here. But before we jump in, I think it's crucial for our audience to understand that Python isn't just another programming language. It's a key enabler for modern app development, especially when we think about combining the power of Python with Azure cloud capabilities. Um, with that, Renee, can you tell us how Python skilling for Azure can help bridge this gap? For sure. There's a huge number of Python developers and data scientists out there already using the wide variety of functionality that comes packaged up with Python or that it's easily accessible through the huge quantity of libraries available for Python. But when we talk about Python skilling in combination with Azure, it's about more than being able to leverage the language to do what you want with it. It's about integrating with the latest technology like AI models to create intelligent modern apps and tools, which you can then make available to the whole world in a scalable and secure way. Python provides a foundation, a versatile, powerful language with a rich ecosystem. Azure, on the other hand, offers building blocks for cloud computing, AI, data analysis, and more. By skill building on Azure, Python developers can unlock new potentials. That's a great point, Renee. I feel like Python's adaptability allows developers to easily package their applications into containers, making them more portable and easy to deploy across any kind of cloud environment, including Azure. And this feels like a huge advantage for developers looking to leverage the full power of cloud computing. Exactly, Aaron. And when we shift the conversation to AI and machine learning, Python's importance becomes even more pronounced. Azure's commitment to AI and ML is evident through its suite of services like Azure Machine Learning and Azure AI Services. Python has long been a favorite of data scientists, and that's increasing more than ever now when we look at AI innovation because of its ease of use and the powerful libraries that like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn. In fact, Python is the number one language of choice for Azure OpenAI customers, with Python used by 40% of customers on that service, which is 2.5 times more than the next language in line in second place. So it's a front runner by a long way. These tools are essential for data scientists and AI developers, making Python an indispensable part of the in intelligent app development of Azure. I absolutely agree. I, I think it's really fascinating, actually, how Python serves as this bridge between the needs of cloud native development and the capabilities provided by Azure, especially in the realm of AI and machine learning. And it sounds like this not only simplifies the development process, but also kind of opens up new possibilities for innovation and efficiency. Would you say that's the case? It's about understanding how to architect solutions in the cloud and how to deploy and manage applications at scale and how to leverage Azure's AI and machine learning capabilities to create, create intelligent solutions. There are so many tools that are out there right now at your fingertips when you're using Azure, and you can really mix and match what you want and need for the innovative tech products that you're trying to make. Uh, and that lets us make more clever and more powerful apps than ever that get tech out there securely and reliably at scale to around the world. No, that makes complete sense, especially considering the critical role of Python in Azure. I'm really interested to see like, how developers and data scientists can enhance their skills in this area, specifically thinking about Microsoft Learn, for instance. Um, are you able to share and go through any available resources that Microsoft has to help learners leverage Python effectively on Azure? It feels like that might be where the gap could start to close for them. I certainly can, Aaron. Uh, Microsoft understands the importance of Python and offers a wide range of learning resources and tools to get started. For those new to Python, Microsoft Learn provides introductory pathways to understand the basics of Python programming. And for more experienced developers looking to dive into Azure-specific applications, there are advanced modules that cover everything from deploying Python web apps on Azure App Service to building machine learning models with Azure Machine Learning to leveraging large language models provisioned with Azure AI Studio. Additionally, the Azure SDK for Python is a fantastic resource that simplifies the use of Azure services for Python developers. It's designed to be intuitive and follows Python, Pythonic conventions, which is great for maintaining consistency in your development practices. 
That's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. It also sounds like those are the right resources for anyone who's looking to scale up on Python for Azure. Um, would you be able to actually walk us through these different learning paths and modules to show us and the viewers what the experience would be like? Absolutely, Aaron. Uh, so we've got a learn pathway that I want to take you through today. Uh, so we'll have a look here now. And um, this one is one of the many different Python recent resources available on Learn. Uh, and this one is about building real world applications with Python. And it's a great way to integrate both your Python skills, your web deployment skills, and some AI skills. So building all those up together, which is fantastic. So first up in this pathway, we have Introduction to Python. So it's going to skill you up in how to get started with Python, really, some of the essential data types, use of the terminal, and how you can get going with it, basically. And then once you've got some skills under your belt, uh, you'll learn a little bit, you know, let's call it intermediate level Python skills with object oriented oriented programming with Python. And then once you got that going, well, it's time to get some AI happening here. So you learn to build an AI web app with Python and Plus, which I'll take you through a little bit more in a second. And then you can get learning some testing in Python because to have a nice and you know, reliable app, it's always good to do some testing. But let's take a look at this build an AI web app with Python and Plus um, okay. and talk about what that really means. Uh, so. In this module here, we can see we're getting started with some Flask fundamentals. Flask is a web framework, so that's helping you serve up your web pages and do all of the stuff that happens in the back end to make it clever. Uh, that includes tapping into our translation app, uh, tra translation capabilities on Azure uh, AI services. So by plumbing in some data that's coming from your front end of your web page, which that you're serving up, into this Azure AI services, you can translate something to another language and pop it back up into your web page in a whole new language. So yeah, you can learn how to do all that through this Learn module. Uh, and as well as that, we have a bunch of different cloud advocates around the world contributing, making videos on things like this, including myself. I've actually done a video on teaching people to use the Azure trans translation um, service, which is really fun, to make a fast gap. So there's lots of cloud advocates putting resources out there on the uh, Microsoft Reactor YouTube page or doing it live in the Microsoft Reactor locations around the world that you can also tap into to learn. This is incredible. Thank you so much for taking all of us uh, through that, Renee. It seems much more clear to me and hopefully our viewers that Python is not just beneficial, uh, but really essential for modern cloud um, app development, AI, and machine learning on Azure. Absolutely, Aaron. Uh, it's been really exciting to share it all with you. Uh, no, I appreciate it. And thank you again for walking us through all of that today. Uh, make sure to check out the description below to find links to all the resources we chatted through. While you're there, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the Azure Enablement Show so you don't miss any future episodes. If there are any other questions about Python, Python on Azure, and all of our skilling resources in today's episode, please be sure to leave a comment below so we don't miss you. And lastly, check out this link for more information on skilling for Python. Thanks, guys.